promise. <laughs> just start. We will. We will. They're going. We will prepare. I, they were waiting for my go, but I figured they were watching the stream for some stupid reason. In any case, here we go, live in three, two, one. This is a best of five, guys. So the first to three wins is going to be the victor here, and Fortune gets the first touch on that ball as we get going. Oscillate, Fortune and Zinque over on EU. Waffle Jujinovic and Tun Loink on the orange side for NA. And look at this wall jump here. Gonna get that ball. That is Fortune coming out, trying to get something going here, Declan. Yeah, it's just, they're getting close to the goal already. Getting very well defended there as they tried to go for the corner shot. Not going to be able to get it into the blue goal there. But oh. Wolf, you trying to put it away, but he also gets denied. And now Fortune going to finally clear that away down towards the orange side. Yeah, Wolf, you coming close there with his shot, but uh, no cigar. The last second save over on the blue side here. Fortune getting a shot off here. Here comes the save in the air for Genovix. Standard day at the office for him, but the ball comes right back towards the orange goal. Zinque going to bounce it off the wall and try and get it out of his zone, but Tunlung's going to make that a little more difficult for him. Fortunate, uncharacteristic miss there. Missed the midair touch there, but Oscillate there to back him up. He's going to be able to get a touch on it. Genovic's going to put it down range, but Zinque going to bounce it away to the left side of the goal, but now he's going to center it right up in front. They go for the shot. Waffle Chu gets denied by Oscillate. He's right there to put the defense on. Going to go back in. Tung going to get another touch onto it, but then it's going to get cleared back downfield. Genovic's going to put it back in, but Zinque going to kick it away, and that's going to finally make it back over to the orange side here. As an explosion, Zinque going to take down Waffle Chew. And that's going to put him out for a couple of seconds, but they're going to get right back into the action as Blue's going to clear it once again downfield. Yeah, a good clear by Zinque. He missed the second touch, though, as he was trying to go into midair and get that towards the net. And Tunlong takes advantage of it and pushes it right on back to the other side. But just back and forth action here again. The EU side representing Blue and NA is orange at the moment. This is for bragging rights here. Both Rectify squads going at it, and so far it's been a pretty tight match as Walfuchu gonna try and get something going here. Has some support coming in as well. This could be a goal here if they can connect. They do not oscillate. Manages to get a piece of it to prevent that one from going in. Yeah, just getting that late touch there right, right as the tip-off comes in and just knocking it casually away from the goal. 2.45 left here in this first round. As they are playing around on the orange side of the field. Fortune going to put it back down into the corner. The wall hit coming out from Tun. And he's going to follow it up there. But he's actually going to get denied. One of the players going to be able to bounce it away for Blue. But they're going to put it back across the wall. 45. Fortune going to take it out of harm's way. As Waffle Chu tries to hit it off in midair. But he's not going to be able to connect. Genevix is going to take down Zinn with a huge explosion. Down to 219. This Oscillate going to put it out onto the center there. And Fortune, he was trying to get a shot out of it, but just couldn't get the right angle there. That pass, I, I thought it looked like a pretty good pass, but we've been over how much I know about Rocket League. <laughs> down to two minutes, that was going to clear back down towards the blue team. Yeah, it looks like, oh, Tunlink denied there by Zinque with a nice save, but the ball's going to come right back at the net. Could be an opportunity here. Tunlink does not connect on his attempt, though, and Fortune's going to get a chance to clear it. He has an open net for a moment. Doesn't have any support to work with. And Tunlong going back, so the field opening up a little bit here. As Orange, the NA team coming out there in Fortune with the hero save once more. Zinque going to try and tap it as well. We haven't seen that one-two punch from either team yet, though. We'll see if that comes in. Well, here comes another opportunity. Fortune taps it twice. There it is. But it is saved by Wolfkulchu once more. And they're still putting a lot of pressure on the EU team. Could be going for the goal here, and it is! Zinque finally connects on midair. A nice pass from Oscillate, and that'll make it one to nothing for the EU team. They were really committed there. If you watched in that replay right there, all three of the blue players all downfield. Nobody playing mid-ground, nobody playing defense at all. They all decided, hey, we're going to get in on this one and try to make it happen. And the second tip-off going to be in play. Now Zinque is going to get the first touch, 1-0. As the Blues taking the lead. Oh, ooh, that double play. Almost got it pushed back into the net, but not going to work out for the Orange team. They're going to clear it back towards the Orange side. As Fortune going to put it back down there. But here comes a long Hail Mary. Not quite square on the goal, though. It's going to fall away to the left side of the field. And under a minute now in this first round is the tip going to come towards Tunloy. He's going to put it straight back downfield. As Fortune trying to get into a position to deal with this, but Zingue, his buddy, going to come in and take it away for him. As oh! he comes the goal, Oscillate 
denied and cleared back into the orange sector of the field. Another great save by the EU side. 32 seconds left in this first match. It is a best of five. And the orange, the NA team, gonna have to come up with a goal here and then another save from Fortune. Almost connecting again there. But just uh, no cigar on that final touch for Orange. EU coming out, putting the pressure on. 15 seconds left now. They're going to push the ball right towards the goal. And Orange going to have to do something here. The NA team with nine, eight seconds left. Counting down to the last five. They are not going to be able to do this one. EU going to pick up the first match. They are up one to nothing in this best of five. A very great game all around. But uh, the NA team just could not get that one-two punch going. Fortunately for the EU team, they did a nice pass by Oscillate and Zinque finished it off for the only goal of the match, one to nothing. The final score, here we go. Match number two, guys. I am JRT with Declan Biceps. We are your hosts for this Rocket League matchup. And if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's at JRTTV for me and at Declan Biceps. And those are right up in the top right-hand corner if you need to know how they're spelled. I think it, you know, honestly, you know, a guy coming from Counter-Strike, the in-your-face FPS games, like, you know, that we typically cast, I actually thought that I was going to be kind of bored with Rocket League because, you know, it's just that you just, I don't know, you envision it and you go, you know, where where's the, te the intense, you know, and the suspense and whatever. But it's here. It is. I'm actually having a really good time. But we are going to get into the second match here. Ocelot going to get the first tip as it goes towards the orange side of the field. And they're gonna kick it right back down. Open oh man! On the blue side, but that's gonna get denied. As Osley gonna pick it up, he's gonna go straight back down the field himself, and he's gonna put it up into the corner. And the orange team trying to get the defense there. Zin's gonna get a tip into the corner once again. Oh! oh. Fortune gonna blow up Tung Loink. That's what's gonna give him a three on two situation here. They could put it in the goal, but he's gonna quickly join back. Obviously, only a couple of seconds there. That was a great move, actually. Opened up a lot of space for the destruction. Now look at this. EU again trying to get this one in. They got a tap, and it was in perfect position for someone to fly through the air and get it into the goal, but no one was there to support Tunloink. So now NA again going to try to recover here and get back in. Look at that shot. Nice shot there by Osley, but Tunloink going to get the save. And it's just, again, back and forth action. Both teams trying to get the upper hand. The NA team trying to recover and tie this one up. They are on the orange side again. EU on blue. They're good. They're playing in the middle oh, of the field. Oscillate I think again. that's the second time Oscillates took out Tung Loink. He just, no, no patience for him at all. Just going to take him straight out of the game. They're going to clear it back towards the blue side of the field. They're in the middle of the field trying to put this one towards the net. They're going to bump it in backwards with Zinque. Gonna say that one puts it right back over the head of one of the orange players. He's gonna put that straight back towards the net. They got two of them going up for it. What, a, net. what save. a save! From Tunloy. He's actually inside the net and takes that one back out. And he's not gonna let it get anywhere near the net as Genovic's gonna put it back down into the blue side. Yeah, and Tunlong trying to put some pressure on again. Oscillate does clear it, but here comes Waffle Chew. So a lot of pressure there put on by the NA team, but a couple of nice saves by the EU side. Going to keep it at nil-nil as Tunlong again going to clear this one out. Nothing doing for EU. He almost got something happening over there on the other side, but nothing just yet, ball just bouncing around as Waffle Chew jumps into the sky, clears that one out, and it's going to be dropped right back in by Fortune. Yeah, Tunling, he's working on this one. He's all the way around the corner, ball dribbling. He's not going to get it very far, though, as Zim's right there to deny it, puts it away, but it's actually not out of their area yet. Waffle Chew's going to put it straight back in in front of the goal. Oh, that was a pass, nice pass. But nobody there was an open goal. And that one's going to get defended again. The Ocelot going to pinch the corner, puts it down towards the middle of the field, and that's going to get knocked back into the center of the field as Tunloy trying to get a play on it. But Waffle Chew, he's backing off now, knows the ball's coming his way, and he's going to get a hit on it. Tunloy actually, excuse me, going to put it back towards his own goal, actually, as he got contested. Tunloy going to finally pay back Ocelot with an explosion of his own. And still 0-0, under two minutes here, going back towards the orange. That's a good play by Oscillate, getting it deep into the orange side. And then follows up, does Zinque, trying to get it up near the net. That's up, up for grabs there by the blue side, but cannot connect. And now Genovix does clear it out. Waffle Chew, 
bounces it off for his teammate, but they miss on that play. Oscillate clears it out, and it's just bouncing up and down here on the orange side. Nothing cleared. Saw a bit of a miss there, maybe, by Genovix as Waffle connects, and then Genovix helps out to try and get it back to that blue side. Here comes a shot from and it almost goes in but it gets saved at the last second by waffle chew i think that's his second close save of this match 115 left on the clock for either team to score here and take this second one and one to nothing for eu overall here it's a rectify skirmish the eu team up against the na team i'm john uh, jrt and declan biceps casting this match and there's another close one there oscillate with the shot and again i uh, sorry oscillate with the save that was a shot there from the eu side or NA side. I'm getting all crossed up here. <laughs> well, they're just trying to stay. There's so many names flying around. It's a really fast-paced game. Uh, Zinque, he's trying to put it downfield for his team, but it's going to get turned back. Ocelet putting it back to his teammate, who's Zinque. He's going to put it back. Gets a double touch on it. His teammate going to kick it forward into the left corner on the orange side of the field. They're going to try to play back. Ocelet knocks it down. They get in close to the goal but nobody getting a setup yet and there it is up wide into the air fortune tries to get a hold of it but he's not going to connect and now 18 seconds left on the clock as Genovix has control oh. gonna put it down towards the center but getting denied Zinque with the midair hit gonna put it out of the center position but they put it back in and Zinque gonna just drive it away in the last six seconds gonna put it over the orange line Zinque gets a midair hit but he's gonna get denied Genovix with the aerial gonna be able to take it down going into overtime now yeah, here comes the OT. So the golden goal, who will get it? NA or EU? NA already down one to nothing. They really need it. EU wants to get a good lead going. Here's a shot off the post for Waffle Chew. He beat the goalie, but just could not connect on that shot. So close there to tying it up one to one. And here comes another opportunity perhaps for NA to get a goal. They've got it deep in the zone, getting a shot on, missing again. Genovix hitting the side of the net on that one. And now the EU gonna try and come back. Here comes another shot attempt from NA, but they can't get it into the opposing team zone. Now Fortune passes it off, trying to get it to Oscillate, who does connect back on the pass, centers it, and Waffle Chew destroys Oscillate, but Fortune has a chance at a shot, and look at this, outplays the goalie, almost gets a second opportunity. Oscillate comes out, and he scores! What a play there, taking advantage of the loose ball. Fortune tried to get the shot off initially, it just bounced off him, and a nice juicy ball there for Oscillate to score on, and that is going to make it 2 to nothing for EU. Wow, what a play, and what a way to end this second match. Fortune definitely planned all that one. He let the he faked out the first player. They flew right by him. Second player came in and he just bumped it just a little bit and then they bumped it back to him and then he just just side rolled and passed it right yeah, to his teammate. Yeah. There wasn't even anybody really left there to defend. There was one player, I guess, but you know, it's hard, you know, when you got two people standing in front of your goal like that, uh, to be able to defend it. I need to hit ready. I'm sorry. That's Delay of game. Good. I'm throwing a flag <laughs> right now. I think Fortune just got a little lucky there. The ball kind of bounced off him, off the opposing player, and then it went right to the slot for, you know, for that goal to come in for Mosolate. Just really well done so far for EU. NA now down two to nothing. Maybe EU will throw them a bone here, let them get a round win, but I doubt they will do so. Both these teams extremely competitive regardless of the circumstances. And here we go, match number three, Rectify EU, representing the blue side up against Rectify NA, representing Orange. Here comes Genovix with a mid-air shot towards the blue side, but Oscillate there to respond immediately, pun punching it right back in to their zone as well. you gonna come out with a key save, perhaps early on in this match. Fortune keeping it in though for his team. So a lot of pressure being put on here by EU. Yeah, you, and the EU keeping up that pressure, it's going to make it really hard for the NA team to even get around on the board right now. They're trying to put it downfield, but getting defended ruthlessly by EU, and they're going to put it right back in the faces here. Fortune's going to be able to defend that one. Zinque going to kick it downfield there in the three-man touch here, but they are going to back off here. Oscillate's going to be able to field it into the defense, put it back towards the orange. Zinque oh, the, the pass in, but it was just a little bit ahead of Osley not going to be able to get the second touch on that one he's going to put it back towards the middle of the goal but it's going to get defended now Osley going to put it back across passes it to Fortune Fortune not even not even seeing it but it is going to get pushed by him back over into the orange zone now going to get into the corner towards the orange goal 
And now they stop for a second. Ossoli hits it, but it's off the post. Oh, what he a save. that one. Yeah, and he almost, Fortune almost had the follow up there. I like that cheeky little reverse pass coming in from the EU, maybe getting a little clocky here. As Fortune comes out, he's going to bounce that in to the orange side again and try to get their first goal of this match. EU already up 2 to nothing, and they had another chance, two chances actually, to make this 1 to nothing in this third match. Could be the deciding match here for both teams. And, you know, it's kind of a shame there for NA. They hit a post, I think a couple of posts, came close to getting that goal in overtime in match number two but now they're down two to nothing and they're facing well i don't want to say elimination but they're facing the end of this skirmish if eu wins oscillate with the destruction of awful two he's just been out for blood here tonight hasn't he declan yeah it's definitely playing a little bit of bumper cars or death race or whatever you want to call it we're down to the three minute mark now no scores yet but oh! now in, and it is going to finally make it in there oscillate gonna be able to put it in there fortune assisting him and he just did a backflip <laughs> that's a arrow roll in the air and put it right above two defenders so close to getting the good save there but just had enough of a tip on it and the blue team gonna take the lead once again one to zero is the second tip off of the game gonna come in here and oscillate's been the mvp tonight i think that's his second maybe he has all three goals i'm not sure who, can't remember who got the first one but yeah oscillate definitely has two here tonight that one pretty impressive going midair and getting it but here comes na finally their first goal of night waffle Chew gets a pretty easy one there connects on uh, almost coast to coast there with the ball going in jumping up getting it over the head of the goalie and there it is one to one the presence flying everywhere and finally we have a goal for NA. Yeah, Waffle Chew actually, you know, just, you know, striking back right away, coming right off the tip off to get that one and take it the distance all the way from one side to the other. They're going to be back in the orange side of the field right now, but they're going to pass it forward towards the blue. Blue, also like going to be able to put it back, but once again, return cleared all the way back downfield. Fortune goes for the hit, misses it. Genovic's going to miss it as well. And his teammate not going to be able to recover that one. His fortune on it now. Going to put the side pass in. He's not going to get a connect from that. But Zinque going to pick it up in midfield. And try to put it back over towards the middle of the goal. Not going to be able to make it happen. Fortune puts it towards the middle. And a pass that goes way over the head of Waffle Chew. Zinque going to clear it back towards him. Tunnelink going to oh, no. oscillate. And then a goal. Zinque with the double touch over the net. Going to be able to score that one. And once again, Blue going to take the lead. Two to one. Yeah, what happened there is that Tunloin got a little too aggressive, went for the elimination instead of staying in his net to protect against that happening, and Tunloin just had an, uh, sorry, Zinque had an easy path towards the net, double touched it right on in, and it's two to one for EU. So now Walfuchu gonna have to come out with another quick save, but it's coming right at the net again! And Genovix manages to clear it, but just one tap in the right direction there for EU, and that could have been a third goal. It's going to be interesting to see how the NA team responds to this because they actually only have a minute 35 left to make something happen here. I mean, they're already down. They've lost two games already. They're on their elimination game, and they got to get back down the field, and they're going for it right now. Oh! And it's a free goal to tie it up. How does that Tom happen? Lloyd going to pay it back. Was a little bit on a misstep last round when he let the goal go by him, but he is going to tie it up here with a pretty much a free and open goal there. They're going to tie it up 2-2. Two to two with 1.30 left on the clock. Well, you know, one misstep for another there. The EU side just caught with absolutely no one near the net. All of them were committing for the goal and no one stayed behind and that left an open net, a two on O for the NA side. And now we're tied up two to two, so it's not over yet. But here, Zinque with another shot. Genovix with a pretty easy save coming out there. His team's gonna try and put on some pressure. Waffle does clear it out as EU Coming on hard, Tunloink gonna get it over the head, perhaps a fortune? No, fortune's gonna get it, and Tunloink as well in the process. Zinque gonna have to come out with a save though, as it is just pressure on from both sides. Here comes Genovix, gonna try and go for this one with Waffle Chew and Tunloink. Tunloink with the shot in midair. And now it looks like Genovix is gonna try and center it for someone, but no one there to receive that pass. Down to 40 seconds now. Two to two. It's all tied up here. It's going to be in midfield towards the orange side, but they're going to put it back down easily. Fortune misses that one. The goal's completely over. Oh, no. He's going to put it away. Nobody there at all comes in from the corner. Fortune misstepping <laughs> that one completely. And Genovic, who would look like he was probably going to pull off, goes straight underneath him and puts it in the corner. 
going to be three to two as NA taking the lead. You have to wonder if the EU side just wants this to go on. I don't know. <laughs> those were those were two huge defensive breakdowns that you, you don't often see at this level of play. But in any case, <laughs> it is three to two for the NA side. EU with 22 seconds left to respond here to prevent the NA side from getting their first victory. It is two to nothing overall in this best of five for EU. Tunloik going out there, flying through the sky, using his boost effectively to try and get that ball bounced into the opposing team's side. But look at this last minute goal! Six! Six seconds left. Zinque flies through the air. Great pass by Oscillate to put him in that position to get the shot off. And we are almost certainly going to OT. Look at that right under Genovix. What a shot by Zinque. Great angle. Well played. Three to three. They said, they said, oh, you thought we were just playing around? Here you go. Yeah. Five <laughs> seconds left on the clock. They heard me. Put the ball. Yeah, they're going to be able to put the ball down towards the orange side of the field, but not going to be able to connect anything there. 3-2-1 into the overtime here, tied up 3-3. The next goal could paint uh, another another match for us or or an ending for a 3-0 to EU. They're going to be able to put it down towards the orange side of the field. Oh, what a and pass. in danger here. What a pass. But Zinque going to whip that one in midair. And Osley, he's going to be able to pick this one up. He's trying to pass it to his teammate. Gets it back down. Zinque! Oh! Got to hit it from the line. What a shot. Awesome. Oh, man. Right over to his teammate, Zinque, right there on that 45 angle, right in the corner. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. I I'm just sad it's over because I've actually had a lot of fun casting it. I am oh, definitely man. having a lot more fun than I thought I would. <laughs> High five to everybody out there that loves to watch Rocket League. I now know why. Yes. Okay? And, oh, my goodness, EU, these guys came out. Put on a show. They won the first two matches. I think the the first one one to nothing. Second one was was it one to nothing as well, Declan? I can't recall. Yes, one to yeah, nothing. It was two one to nothings, and this third one was crazy action. I love this one. Four to three final score for you. They only had six seconds left to tie it up, and they did exactly that, which is what makes Rocket League so exciting. Came out with a beautiful shot there by Zinque to wrap it up to the top left hand corner, and that will be that. They're saying best of seven, maybe. All right, we'll see. Well, we're best of nine now. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, we're doing okay. best of nine. So first to five. We're at three to nothing for EU right now. This is match okay, okay. number four. I'm glad. To, you know what? Something else that I've seen here. Everybody's so nice to each other. There's no toxicity in this game at all. It, it's a very different environment for sure. <laughs> from Counter-Strike. As here we go, everything's underway. Tunlon gets a quick clear out of his zone and may have an open net. Oh no, oh no, Oscillate Joe just puts it in his own net. Oh. An own goal from Oscillate. That is not what he needed to do at all. And in fact, I think they should have had an easy clear, but it was Fortune and Zinque who bumped into each other. Then Oscillate missed the shot and actually just dropped it into his own net. Unfortunate for him. But there it is, one to nothing in favor of NA in a very unorthodox fashion and they get the kickoff as well. So maybe giving uh, the NA team an early lead here, you know. I don't know, you know, that was just in a game, misplay. In-game in handicaps and such. Oh, oh here it is! Go for it. What is <laughs> happening? EU, what is happening? EU falling apart here in this match early on in the first 30 seconds, two goals already. Tunloink getting one out of the air, off the wall. Nicely done for him and now two to nothing for NA. What is going on with the EU defense? We saw a few problems in the previous match. Thought it just been a, might have been a minor hiccup, but yeah, again, it's coming back to haunt them in this match number four. Genovix going to be able to play back towards the middle of the field. Ocelot puts it down towards the goal, trying to make up for that early mishap. And he's going to be able to put it back downfield. Fortune going to be steering it through the air. It's going to get denied back around towards Waffle Chew. And Zinque going to hit it in from the corner. Mid air. Puts his team on the board. One to two now. As now it's only, it's not even a full minute into this game. And three, goal, three goals have been scored already. Yeah, I think of all the goals I've seen, I think, I don't want to upset the NA team at all, but the EU team has had the nicer goals so to speak just a lot of corners being picked and making sure that they had to they had to get around a lot of nice attempts at saves whereas the na team has taken advantage of complete defensive breakdowns from eu leading to easy tap-ins fortune gonna go in there try to get a shot off at the front of the net but cannot oscillate 
defending there and yeah, still, I should say, Osley trying to get the ball to stay in the offensive zone. Zinque gets a shot off, but that is cleared there by Genovix. And now Tunloin going to try and get an opportunity at a shot of his own on the opposing team. Nets, but now the EU's coming on hard. Here comes Zinque with the nice shot again and a goal. Zinque with his second of the match ties it up at 2-2. Two to two. What a great play there and some great pressure put on by EU, Declan. Yeah, just look at the, he just taps it just slightly, knows exactly where it's going to end up. He goes, he likes that left corner, tied up 2-2, two to two, 3.30 left on the clock, only a minute and a half in here. Gina Vicks and Fortune get a face off, Fortune going to be able to kick it down towards the right side of the field, right off the bat here. The air is through, oh, or excuse me, Waffle Chew going to be able to put that one over, and Gina Vicks going to clear it back over towards the blue side. Fortune going to kick it back across mid, Ton trying to get a touch on it, he's not going to be able to hit it. Fortune looking for an angle here Osley going to put it back towards the front of the goal would have been a good shot but it gets cleared away and Zinque with a good defensive going to put it back towards the right side going to have to go for it again he's going to miss it but his teammate Osley going to put it back down he gets oh, it he clear over the top of him open goal but he's going to have to pass it to his teammate who's there Zinque <laughs> there's the hat trick another one three to two is Zinque on fire giving away an early lead 0-2 we're gonna come back strong and now 250 left three to two Zinque with the hat trick three goals for him single-handedly carrying his team to victory at this point it has been quite a show so far in terms of goals only halfway through the match already five goals scored combined Zinque now on the other side with a miraculous save for his team I shouldn't say miraculous but a very impressive save and now Oslake gonna send it right to the front of the net a chance perhaps for someone to fly in there from EU to get that loose ball but now a shot off here by Tunlo again a very nice save by Zinque gonna have to drive another one there it is there it is by Fortune off the crossbar and another shot by NA, they will not be denied. Two excellent saves there. One off the crossbar for the EU side, but Waffleju gets the third, sh third shot, and no one is there to respond that time. Three to three. This is very, very impressive Rocket League right now. Very juicy. Tied up three to three now. Two twenty left on the clock. Zinque going to be the first one to touch it. Going to put it back down towards the blue side oscillate going to clear it off the wall towards the right side putting it back across the field fortunes on it but waffle two going to be there to deny actually kind of a nice pass there zinque is going to take it puts it back towards the front oscillate going to put it back around towards his teammate he's going to take down gina vix that's three on two on their side of the field but they're not going to get anything done excuse me as i say that oscillate going to put a pass across the field nobody there to receive it but Zinque going to come across the ceiling, got the touch on it, puts it over! Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> ended the slow-mo ball almost crawling into the top of the net there. Uh, Fortune's bringing it right back to the other side. Now Osley comes out with a nice shot, but Genovic's right there for a nicer save. Gets it cleared out as well, then going for a shot of his own. That's right over the head of Fortune, but Fortune manages to boost up and get that save at the last second. Also going to go for the follow-up, but Zinque tries to come in and help out, but maybe he did... Uh, maybe he made a mistake there, hitting that one and not letting Fortune fly through the air and get it. But now Fortune's going to go for a backward shot on net. Doesn't connect at the right angle, though. And it's going to give Tunloink a chance to clear this one out. And it's going to go perhaps over the head of the EU side. But no, Zinque there again to respond in Fortune. I think that's the first destruction that wasn't Oscillate coming in. He gets the destruction. Oscillate comes out with a shot right over everyone. Nicely done for him. Individual effort coming out strong. And that'll be 4-3 to three EU just cannot lose so far. They were down two to nothing in this one. I think they were down in the previous match as well, but they've struck back four to three. Down to a minute now is NA feeling the pressure here. They're gonna have to go for a quick play, a three-man push here. Tunlink gonna get the first touch. It's gonna put it towards the blue side of the field. As they bounce it off the ceiling, Fortune tried to put it in his teammate's goal. One's going straight down to the blue goal. Wasn't really that close, but Zinque going to clear it away. Goes towards the orange. Going hard oh, into no. the paint. Five to three as he gets the double touch. Playing with himself on the wall there. Gets it towards the side of the goal. Knows he can't make it back. Does another quick flip. Pops it in. Five three now. Going to be a little bit harder for NA to get into this. So there's only 47 seconds left oh, in this man. round. Zinque again with a great shot and a great individual effort. I think that's the highlight of the night there in terms of that goal. Coming out, bouncing it off the post, and then getting it in.
So nicely done. Five goals now for EU. Oscillate looking for more. He's hungry, wants to get a sixth goal, but Tunlock does clear it out. Still some time here. You've seen it happen in less time than this in Rocket League, getting two goals in a span of five seconds. I've seen it happen before. It can happen again here for NA. But look at EU putting the pressure on again. Zinko with a nice pass, centering that one or trying to, but Genovix comes out and clears it around and off the wall. Going to come right back in, though, from Zinque. And then a missed clear by Genovix. Going to have to rely on Wolfchu to come out with only eight seconds left. This one is all but over. Going to go to EU once more. Maybe a goal here for any before is all, said, all is said and done. But that'll be that. Four to nothing in favor of EU. Now, in this best of nine until the ball drops, still have time for a goal, but it's not going to change anything. <laughs> I think they're just trying to keep it in the air as long as possible. There we go. So that'll be that. EU wins their fourth in a row. Great play here, as you can see by Zinque. Seven shots on goal, four goals, a hat trick plus one for Zinque. And it is four to nothing in favor of EU. Now we're going to go to an NA server because the lag was a bit high there for NA. So we're going to switch now and go back to the main menu. So it just seems like, you know, they're just kind of you know, giving and taking when it comes to mistakes, you know, it's like who can outshoot who instead of, you know, just this hard defensive game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we'll see. I think EU might have taken uh, the foot off the gas a little bit in terms of defense just to kind of let things, they've loosened up their play a little bit, perhaps to try and encourage more goal scoring to happen. But we'll see how this fifth perhaps final match goes as Oscillate going to get the first touch there and then Fortune follows it up with a nice clear into the opposing team zone but now look at this open net almost I shouldn't say open net Zinque was right there to defend against it Junovix keeps it in putting some pressure on here for NA they miss a free shot there maybe a goal as just passing right by it was I believe Genovix 438 left on the clock as Wafflechu going to try and clear this one out of his zone Oscillate Fortune Zinkway all backing up into their own zone to try and get control of this ball but Tunlong makes it difficult for them pushing it into the left corner here for his team and the denial going to come out here from Wafflechu he's going to get a nice aerial hit going to be assisted by Genovix who's going to clear it over towards the right side in the blue area here and Waffle going to get a second hit as well going to put it down into the corner what a shot from Tunlink but Zinque gonna deny it there right on the ground as it tries to come in three-man hit by the blue side gonna put it back up towards the orange and fortune he's gonna run this one around the corner he actually dumps it to his teammate oscillate who wasn't ready for it or couldn't get a touch on it excuse me and he's gonna put it back over to the right corner of the orange team fortune through the air gonna get the touch what a pass but oscillate not able to get the right angle it's gonna fall short but this shot from Gina Vicks gonna get denied as well fortune gonna be able to play back but waffle chew comes back into the action oscillate gonna put it back and now we're just playing tennis ladies and gentlemen but as i say that sin Quay gonna tip it in once again what a pass oscillate gonna put it right above the goal and sin says here let me help you puts it in a little bit more one to zero now as blue takes the lead I mean, that was a great pass by Oscillate, but what grace, what a graceful finish there by Zinque. Gently, slowly, but surely tapping in that. He made it look easy, but that's actually a really difficult shot to connect on. And here comes another one, Oscillate, just taking advantage of a loose ball midair, scoring that one. It is two to nothing for EU. And now they are laying on the hurt. NA gonna have to come back from a two to nothing deficit with 328 remaining. Not unheard of, but the way EU has been playing tonight, it's going to be difficult for them to keep pace in terms of goals. And this might be another shot. Waffle is going to put it back towards the top of the goal. Zinque going to defend it. Didn't really uh, get too close there, but Oscillate's going to be able to kick it forward. A 45 going straight towards the goal. Waffle is going to be able to defend that one, though, as he's going to play towards the midfield. And a missed bump there as he's going to put it over towards oh. Fortune. <laughs> But defended, Genovic sniffed it out, had the angle all figured out, going to be able to stop that one. But NA, they need to get on the ball here. Three minutes left on the clock, 2-0 to zero as EU putting the gas oh, no. on. And that shot on a free goal once again, Zinque went right over the head of the goalie, was actually in the goal, but I'm not really sure what happened here. Yeah, Waffle Chew just didn't really know where it was going to go and couldn't make a decision fast enough. Win right over the top. Going to bounce off the top. It's going to be 3-0 to zero 
as EU looking to take this series. Just a three-man effort on that one. Osley coming around, setting up for Fortune, who dropped it right in front of Zinque, and Zinque getting the goal once more. What a play, and what an effort here by EU. They are heating up, and they're looking for more once more. Three to nothing so far, looking for their fourth as Genovix is trying to strike back for his team, but they just cannot stop the onslaught that is going on right now. Osley going to center that one, perhaps for Fortune. There it is. Here's a goal coming in for NA. No one left to defend on EU. They got a little too cocky there. Sent everyone in to try and get that goal, but it is going to be a first goal in this fifth match for NA. 3-1. to one. Now the score. Genovix with a little bit of a icebreaker there, getting the first goal for his team here in what could be the last match, and right off the tip, almost goes in for EU, but saved by the goalpost, gonna get denied away, Waffle Chew gonna put it down, and Tun Link gonna follow it up, puts it down towards midfield, gonna clear it up into the middle of the blue, and Oscillate gonna clear it back towards the orange, Waffle Chew there, gonna get a miss hit on it, Oscillate puts it towards the goal, off the top, and Genovix Gonna clear it back away towards the blue once again. Zinque gonna put it towards Fortune. He's on the long ball, but Waffle Chew gonna deny it from going to him. Oscillate gonna get a bounce on it. Tries to slow it down a little bit. Gets into this right corner. Gonna be off the wall. Waffle Chew putting it back towards Tunlink, but he wasn't close enough to make a play on it as they're gonna center it straight back over the middle. I think that uh, NA might have a chance here. Waffle Chew does get it deep into the EU zone, but Fortune right there to respond. Now Zinque coming out with authority right on into the slot, but cannot connect at the right angle towards the net. Looks like Oscillate's going to manage to dribble that one towards the orange side. Drops it over the head of Genovix, or it was a Waffle Chew. In any case, Genovix did manage to clear that back towards the blue side. But look at EU, they're coming on strong once more. Fortune jumps through the air, goes for the shot, gets it, but it's not hard enough to get to that net. And now it's going to be cleared right back into the EU zone. Tunlink with the shot, a little too high. Waffle Chew's going to follow up here. He hits the side wall, cannot connect on his shot either. So now EU perhaps going to have another opportunity to get a shot off here. Genovix coming on strong, Zinque does clear it out both teams back and forth here but finally a shot from awful Chew fortune with the easy save maybe not an easy save against tunlink if he can get the right angle but he cannot and now it is just a little bit of pressure from na but only 43 seconds left for them to get their second goal and perhaps a chance of tying it up yeah it's it's looking rough here a lot of air ball going on here. Waffle Chew's going to put it down. Tut, or excuse me, Zinque going to try to play it off the wall, but going to get denied by Gino Vix. He's going to put it right in front of the goal. Here comes the stack. Tunlong going to take down Zinque, but the ball not falling anywhere near the goal there. And it's actually going to work its way all the way back towards the orange side. Gino Vix is going to be the first one to touch it. But Zinque, he misses in midair. Fortune, the only one down at the blue side to try to make a defense here. Oscillate arrives late, but enough time. To get it, Gina Vix gonna oh. try to get a mid-air shot, but EU salt in an open wound. Zinque from the middle gonna get the last tip on it, puts it right in the goal. Yep, so EU with a dominant performance from beginning to end here. This will be their fifth victory of the night. Five to nothing in the best of nine. I think that NA will likely call this one. I don't think they're gonna want to play any more matches as there it goes. The time expires, EU showing off what they've got. Uh, it's uh, going to be a good season for them coming up. It looks like Rectify has quite a good squad under their belt.